We often ask God for answers to circumstances we don't understand. Why God? Why this little one? How does a young girl of 11 years old handle the news of having bone cancer? Facing major surgery to remove five inches of her right leg, many rounds of chemotherapy, losing her hair, Paige Omardian, with her faith, sang her way back to health. Today, she's a music artist, author, speaker, teen mentor, wife, and the mother of two little girls. This is her story of unshakable faith. This is Today's Life. Paige, thank you so much for inviting me into your home and your yes, studio. absolutely. Thank you for coming. It's wonderful. Well, you know, I so enjoyed talking to you. You used to do music videos. Yes. I've seen a couple of yes. them a while ago. <laughs> but you have such a great story, and it all started at a young age. Take me back to when you were a little girl. Yes. And you battled cancer. Can you share your story? Yes, um, it's God has done so many things in my life that as I just look back over the scope of it all, it's just amazing to see um, where so many of the great things that um, ended up happening really began with something so hard. And um, so to take you back um, uh, right before my 11th birthday, um, I was dealing with some pain in my right leg that just came out of nowhere and, and I dealt with it for, for several months and, and got so many different tests and x-rays and things and, and doctors couldn't figure out what was going on. Finally, I um, got an MRI and it revealed that there was a mass there and um, after a biopsy and, and we finally were told that it was something called Ewing sarcoma. Um, which is a rare bone cancer. And that was just a total shock to me and my family because I had been this healthy little girl and, and doctors, you know, just didn't think that it was cancer literally up until the last second. So it was just like kind of this weird journey with all of a sudden this shocking news where my world was just turned upside down and um, entering my 11th birthday and, and I'm now in the midst of chemotherapy. Did you understand it? What was going on? I didn't understand. I didn't really, like I had heard the word cancer, but I didn't really know what it was. Mm -hmm. So the only things that I could relate to basically from what they told me I was going to get was I had to be in the hospital. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird or I, that's not good. I didn't really know, you know, um, anything about hospitals. I was told that I would have to get surgery and I didn't understand at all what chemo was until I was going through it and how horribly sick it would make me, how um, it would make me lose my hair. And, and then basically I was on um, crutches and in a wheelchair for a year um, because, because of the tumor being in my leg, um, the bone was really fragile and so um, so I had to just kind of stay off of it. And then when I got the surgery, they replaced five inches of the bone in my leg where the cancer was. So I was in a full, you know, um, hip they, to toe cast. How did they replace that? It, it, you know, was miraculous really what the doctors did. And I mean, even, even just, I don't know, a handful of years before, the surgery really didn't exist. I, I would have had to get my leg amputated. So the fact that I could keep my leg uh, because of the way that technology had advanced by the time I, you know, 2001 was when I got the, the surgery. So I was just, I was grateful, you know, because in, in one sense I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I have these new limitations with my leg. I will never be able to run or jump. Um, and you were and very athletic. I was really active. active. I was in dance and, you know, sports and theater arts and stuff. And, and I had now this huge scar um, literally, it's like over a foot long. And I was so self-conscious of, you know, it's just what happened, all these things. I was bald, and this big scar. But, but yeah, I, you know. Tell me a little bit about your faith. Yes. So I, I came to know Jesus when I was eight years old. And um, so I, I was grateful that, that I had already entered into that relationship with him, you know, Year, several years before this happened because by the time this hit, um, 
I had that relationship with him and, and that I could talk to him and about what I was feeling. But the part that, that I was struggling with was um, I didn't understand why he would let this happen to me. I thought I was just totally wrong thinking, but I thought that he was punishing me. I thought that God was punishing me, and I don't know why I thought that. But God ended up showing me, no, Paige, I'm not punishing you. I'm the one carrying you through this pain. Um, I have a purpose and plan through this that you can't understand right now. So I, it was a journey through my battle with cancer to to really understand that that God could use could, could bring about a purpose through this, and that He loved me and was with me. And even at a young age. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, when you go through something that I mean nearly takes your life away, that you just you grow up fast and you realize what's important and. And you just and I just really saw the Lord with me, and and like I said, at first I was I was struggling to see Him, and like, wait a second, like, what did I, what happened, you know, how did I end up getting cancer? But but that was part of growing my faith. That was part of no, God is good and God loves you, and and I had to realize that that hard things happen and bad things happen, but that He's there with us through them, and and if we trust Him. He'll turn it around for good. Paige, what would you say to a young child going through cancer? Uh, I'd say hang on because it's easy to want to just give up and to feel like you've lost everything. And like it's easy to, um, to lose hope. But um, my, my favorite verse is Romans 8.28 and it says, and we know that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love him, to those who have been called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. And um, it was impossible at the time for me to, to see any good that could have come from cancer. And yet God brought some of the greatest things in my life from cancer, as crazy as that sounds. So, so to a young person who's going through it right now, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't think that it's over just because you seem like you've lost everything and it feels so painful and hard. And because God brings great things and grace and, and goodness out of the most unexpected places. And um, some people allow hard experiences and, and their sickness to let them become angry. Um, and to, to kind of look at all the other people and their friends who are all healthy and everything and and just think, you know, well, I don't know why it happened to me and to kind of really embed this chip on their shoulder. I've seen that with some kids that, that, um, that you know, were going through cancer. It just kind of, they kind of got out of it like with a big chip on their shoulder, like, oh, well, you know, I beat cancer and like, you know, blah, I don't know. I, rather than like letting it, like teach them so many good things that they can now carry into life with them. Paige, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, it's been an honor. Are you facing an illness and you're overcome with fear? My sweet friend, trust in Jesus. He will strengthen you and help you through it all so that you too can share your unshakable faith with others that will give glory and honor to God. This is Today's Life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.